my lovelies. Here we are again doing another spell for you guys. Hope you guys had amazing holidays. Um, I was actually working a client. Um, he already got results, but I do want to empower it only because they are dealing with someone that is extremely stubborn. Um, so I just wanted to make sure to uh, make sure that they are uh, continuing that receptive type of energy uh, for the counterpart. Anyways, if you recently came to a separation, a breakup, or no longer in contact with someone that you would want to hear from them or you would want them to reach out to you, this spell is for you. Now, this spell is particularly to open communication, okay? This is not to have them... Um, you know, uh, to start to experience any type of feelings other than the feelings that are already there. However, it will keep them on their, or it will keep you on their mind, um, which is why it is very powerful when we're doing any type of communication spells, because this is definitely going to amplify that energy. So it is, again, specifically to have some type of communication open up, to have them reach out to you, etc. Um, this could be done with friends. This could be done with relatives. This could be f done with anyone that you recently had a falling out um, with and you would want them to contact you. You would want them to come towards you. Let's get down to the needy greeting. The ingredients that you're going to need, you probably already have in your kitchen. Now, as you guys know, I always try to upload videos for you guys of spell work that is to the point that is going to give you results and that are the ingredients are easy to find. However, that's not always the case. And when I upload spells that are more elaborate, it's because I do get clients that tell me, you know, or uh, clients that I know that have been practicing for a while that they can handle those type of um, more difficult or elaborate type of spell workings. But Again, as you guys know, this is something I've always told you guys. When it comes to witchcraft, the the type of spell that you do has absolutely nothing to do with how hard or how difficult or how easy it is. It has a lot to do with your intention. Yes, more elaborate spells that call for more difficult ingredients have a more stronger connection because you're going out of your way to have those or to find those ingredients that makes the spell work that much more potent. So again, I try the best I can to upload simplistic spells for you guys, but also for those of you guys that have been practicing for a while, um, you know, some of these spells are very easy. You want to get to uh, a little bit more elaborate spells and, you know, I try to accommodate everyone. Um, anyways, but this one's very simplistic, very to the point. Now, what you're going to be needing, ingredients. You're going to be needing some coffee. You can use instant coffee or you can grind your own coffee and use that for this spell. You're also going to be needing some tobacco, as you guys can see here. Now, this is something not necessary, but I always integrate it. Cinnamon, a cinnamon stick that you can see there. Um looks a little bit wet and the reason is because I obviously do um, dip it in oils that I'm that are specifically for these type of spell works um, anyways if you don't have that you can just use the cinnamon now coffee has always been used uh, to incite it has always been used to create a lot of restlessness within the target or within the person that you're doing this for um, keeps them up at night uh, keeps them restless, keeps them very uncomfortable and not in their element or not feeling like their natural self because this is giving them that push that they need to want to reach out to you. Now, tobacco is another very dominant ingredient that is used in a lot of dominant type of spell work, um, but also to create a lot of anxiousness, to create a lot of restlessness. So that's why we're using that. And of course, cinnamon uh, to incite the passion, um, to create more of a loving image, especially if the person that you're trying to have reach out to you is a little bit angry at you right now. Cinnamon is definitely going to soothe that type of energy and overpower them with the 
coffee grind and with the tobacco. All right, so you're gonna be needing coffee, tobacco, a cinnamon stick. You're gonna be needing a red marker, red for love, for passion. Uh, if it's a person that you're dealing with and they are more dominant, I would highly encourage you guys to use the black marker. A uh, white piece of paper, no lines. You're gonna be needing a cup where you're going to be putting all of these ingredients and some boiling water, okay? Very simplistic, like I said, very easy. Um, I guarantee you guys, if you guys do this with intention, you're grounded, you don't feel desperate when doing spell work, always crucial, ground yourself, very important, you're gonna get results. I did this for my client, um, I wanna say three days ago, and there's already been contact, they're already, um, you know, they've already hung out um, it, within those three days. Um, I just want it to uh, be a little bit more, um, keep him more receptive. Um, anyways, that's why we're uh, recasting this really quick for you guys. And also to show you guys, um, I know that lately I haven't been uploading a lot of videos um, I've had thousands of spell work that I've had to do, um, and it's just, it gets really difficult to be able to, you know, whip out the camera and do everything while, um, consulting with clients throughout the day and all of that. So it's been really difficult, but I did promise you guys this year, I'm going to be very active on my YouTube channel. So you guys don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell so that you guys can get notified because there is tons of spell videos that I'm going to be uploading. All right, let's get to the nitty gritty. So first, what we're going to do is I'm going to use a black ink. And what you're going to do is you're going to write down the target's name. Now, if you have their date of birth, great. If you don't, you are going to need their first and last name, okay? So it's going to look something like this targets first name and last name and their date of birth if you don't have the date of birth that's fine all you need is their first and last name once you do that you're going to turn the paper to the right and you're going to write down exactly what it is that you want them to do so i want this target right i want this person um <clears throat> to continue uh communicating with my client so i'm going to put um, something like All right, so as an example, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. As an example, I put, think of Joe, just then as an example, think of Joe and text them. Think of Joe and text them. You're gonna write this down three times. Whether it's think of me, whether it's um, call and text me, um, if you want them to do it a little bit more constantly, then you would put um, think, and communicate uh, with me constantly. Be to the point as simplistic as possible. If you haven't heard from this person in a long time and what you want is for them to text you or to reach out, put reach out to and you're gonna put your name. Um, make sure to write it down three times. So in this situation, I put think of Joe and text them. Um, this is gonna keep them on their mind and also uh, we're telling them exactly what we want done. So again, you're going to write it down three times going down. Once that's done, what you're going to do now is you're going to turn the paper or fold the paper towards you one time, turn it to the right, towards you again, and then towards the right and towards you again. All right. So it's going to look something like this. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to get the real one that we have right here. <clears throat> All right. So let me put this. All right, so now you're gonna get the cup. 
as you guys can see, I've been working uh, with this cup for my client. Like I said, uh, the past three days now, four days actually, this is the fourth day, um, I decided to redo it just to empower it. So here we go. What you're going to do now is make sure, by the way, if you guys, um, before you begin, make sure to consecrate all your ingredients. I'm not going to do that because for time purposes, and I've already done it. Um, this is, like I said, a recast, so I'm just redoing the spell. Um, but just make sure to pass some incense and cleanse uh, your space and cleanse uh, the ingredients that you're going to be using. This has already been ritualized and it's already been worked um, worked on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the paper in the cup. By the way, you guys, sorry for my nails. Um, you know, uh, New Year's came and um, I got down with, um, with the virus. Um, for some reason, I only got like three or four days um, that I was like, completely out um but anyways i just haven't had time <laughs> and they just got on my nerves because they're pretty you know i need fills um so i just nipped them at night i was just annoyed i was sick i was just not having it so again sorry if they're all crappy <laughs> anyways all right let's get to it so we have the paper in there what we're going to do now is you're going to add on the cinnamon stick then you're going to put the tobacco, spray, uh, spread it in a clockwise position, putting your intention, putting your energy into what you're doing. Then we're going to get the coffee and you can say a prayer over it. <clears throat> Give me one second. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, a blessing comes again. Okay, so I'm just going to pour all this in here. Okay, so you can put your hands over it and you can say a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. I empower these coffee grinds as well as the tobacco as well as the cinnamon stick to empower and strengthen the spell that is about to commence for my client. Creating restlessness, creating restlessness, uneasiness, no rest, no sleep. Okay, so once that is done, or I should say real quick, when you're doing, um, when you're done putting all the ingredients in there, put your hands over it and say, I bless and consecrate. Um, however it is that you would bless something, um, I'm not sure what your religion is. So once you're done with that, um, I would enchant, um, the ingredients. I bless and consecrate the coffee grains so that they can empower, so that they can strengthen the spell that is about to commence, bringing restlessness, bringing uneasiness, no rest, no sleep. Um, and then you go to the tobacco. I bless and consecrate the tobacco. I uh, empower it and strengthen it um, so that the spell can become unified with all the ingredients, the cinnamon, the tobacco, and the coffee, so that they can create this beautiful blend of restlessness and uneasiness, no rest, no sleep until there's contact, no rest, no sleep until there is contact, no rest, no sleep until there is contact. Once that is done, you're pretty much set and you're going to fill the cup with boiling water and voila, it is done. So you're going to leave this in your altar or by your nightstand and do not touch it. Do not mess with it. Leave it there until contact is made. Once you receive contact, once there's been communication, you can always just get rid of the paper and toss this at the entrance of your home. The reason why I always 
encouraged to anything that has to do with liquids to put it or pour it in the in the entrance of your home it's because you want to draw in that target towards you so you want to see them go through your door so that's the reason why we dispose of like any love spells that are of liquid in the entrance of your home of course you can always toss this out um but for me um don't be ungrateful. You know what I mean? Like it's doing what it's supposed to do. Be grateful and thankful. And there's ways of disposing things. So again, um, once communication and contact has happened, you can dispose of it again at the entrance of your home or you can toss it out, whatever works for you. Um, once that is done, it's done. Now, if there hasn't been any contact after seven days, leave it in your nightstand or in your altar uh, do not touch it. Do not mess with it for 14 days. Now, on the 14th day, if there hasn't been any contact or any communication, toss it out and you have to redo it again. Again, if you don't want to redo stuff, make sure that you're doing it grounded. Make sure that you're doing it focused. Make sure that you're doing it excited as fuck because you're focusing on the outcome, not the current situation. That's how we make things happen not vibrating from the energy where you're at right now, but getting yourself to the point of excitement because of what's unfolding and what you're expecting the outcome to be. All right, my lovelies, this is very simplistic and very easy. For those of you guys that talk a lot of shit saying that there's some spells that I put so many ingredients on, I'm sure you can manage this, right? <laughs> and anyways, for those that don't mind the more elaborate spells, you're my type of people because you're into that heavy shit like I am. Anyways, I love you guys. Get ready for 2022 because we're coming in more beastly. We're coming in more focused and we're coming in hard. So expect tons of spell work. I love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. Till then, bye.